Hi, my name is Bill Mosbach with the Grand River Dam Authority, and I'm a limnologist, which means that I study uh, lakes and streams. And so part of my responsibility for GRDA is we go out and sample water quality throughout Grand Lake, Lake Hudson, and WR Hallway. And what I have with me is a very simple tool that we, is one of the things that we use to measure water quality. This is called a Secchi disc. It's a very simple tool, but it's one that we've been using since the 1800s. Uh, it was invented by a man named Angelo Secchi. He was a priest and also an astronomer um, that also apparently liked water quality. And what's really nice about the Secchi disc is that it's so simple that you can use it in any type of aquatic system. Anyone can use it. It's not crazily expensive like a lot of our equipment. And how it works is you drop it in the water and with the black and white triangles on that circle, it, it gives you enough contrast so you can kind of track it as it moves down. And you keep going down until you can barely see it and it's gonna disappear and you pull it up till you see it again. And then you'll mark that spot and then you'll measure how far down that went. And what this is gonna tell you is how clear that water is it's a very basic measurement of water clarity or also what we call turbidity so this is saying that at this part of grand lake it's about five feet and about three and a half inches uh, deep of clarity so that means you can see five uh, feet and three and a half inches down the water and the reason why we're really interested in water clarity or turbidity is because you can, uh, if you think of harmful algal blooms or any type of uh, algae, uh, it gets really green and it's hard to see down. And so clarity can be kind of an indicator of the quality of water. So if you get a lot of algal biomass and your turbidity is really low, it can influence uh, water taste. Uh, and it can also just kind of mess with the aesthetic for recreation. And it can even have uh, implications for uh, fisheries. Um, another thing that influences turbidity or water clarity is just sedimentation. So if you think if a lot of, get a lot of rainstorms up in the watershed, it brings a lot of sediment down from erosion and that will also kind of murky up the lake, which influences the aesthetics and also can have uh, implications for uh, the organisms and wildlife that uh, live in the lake. So the nice thing about the Segi disc is that it's something that everyone can use and it's something you can easily make your own version at home. And at GRDA we have this new program called Guard the Grand where we're trying to get uh, people that live around the lake or within the watershed uh, to kind of help us make Grand Lakes water quality better and improve it by doing a bunch of different types of uh, what we call best management practices or implementing best management practices on their property or even just in uh, behaviorally, like changing the way they do certain things. Uh, and one way to track water quality is by using the Secchi disc. And so if you're interested in monitoring water quality around your home or your part of the lake, or if there's a certain air part of the lake that you like to visit a lot, that you would really like to do some really easy tracking on water quality, uh, you can actually make your own Secchi disc and start recording that information. And if you want, you can send it to guardthegrand at grda.com, which is our Guard the Grand email address, um, with the location where you're sampling, the depth, and also the date. And we'll actually add that to our registry because we can only sample so much of the lake and keep an eye on it. And so we really do rely on people around the lake to keep their eyes out and let us know uh, what the water quality is like uh, throughout the whole lake. So thank you for your interest and we look forward to you helping us guard the grand.